Okay, so I kind of, I don't know if this is already out there, but like I kind of made my own um, readathon type of thing. Um, I called it in bulk reading days. <coughs> it'll cover, it will go from January 31st to February 3rd. So like the main, um, like four, like four days that would be for that time. Um, I like this is a master list of like the prompts that I have as of right now. So right now there's 33. I started like when I um, made this list. I ended um, I think about 2021, but um, I added a few more and I stuck with. Um, I was at 28 for a while and. For me, that was kind of funny. I'm like, huh, 28, 28 days in February. Um, except for leap years, but, um, well, with leap years, it's still going to be 28, but, <laughs> yeah. But um, I added five more, so 33 total. So, but for each year that I want to do these, like, I want to do, to do this for the next few years, um, so I kind of made like this sheet as well for myself, like the prompts that, um, so what year, so like 2021, um, so books this year, what, um, I did, so, um, so for 2021 are my first five prompts on here, so a book about divination, a book about tarot, a YA or general fiction book, because I kind of want to, like, that'll put me into what authors view, like, witchcraft and paganism as, or what they view it as, um, but, um, yeah, so four, a children's book, five, a cookbook of your choosing, so it can be sapphic related it can be like breakfast dinner um vegan vegetarian whatever um so those will the first five will be mine for 2021 um so i just have to choose those so i'm just going to list out um six to 33 for you so, a book in your TBR pile, um, a topic you don't normally read, so like I don't normally read stuff about like runes, I could re read a beginner book about that. Um, eight, a foundation slash basic book, because it's always good to go back to like the basic books, you could learn something new, or if you're wanting to learn something new, um, there's that. Um, a kitchen slash hearth related book, a book furthering your path, a book about a uh, sabbat, or um, one that's or all in one, so a book about all of them, or one specific, like the Llewellyn, Llewellyn's Sabbath series. Um, a craft book of your choosing, so like some sort of DIY Christmas crafts summer crafts, whatever. But this can also be a general witchcraft craft book. <laughs> um, but mine was DIY crafting type of thing. Um, a book about candles, a book about tea, and a book about the goddess Bridget, seeing it's her, um, for a lot of us, she's more associated with in bulk. Um, a book in the Pagan Portal series, uh, they have a wide variety of different topics in there, um, a variety of different authors and topics, a book about crystals, zero waste slash sustainable topic, 19 Higi, Higi, I know I'm going to I was able to pronounce it a few days ago, Higi Lagoon 
slash slow way of living, etc. Learning more about like one or all of them if you want. There are some books out there. You can check like Overdrive, Libby, book. Like both apps have like the same like books, but you can check out your library or whatever. Um, a ritual or spell book, a book about the elements, a book about the planets. So for the element and planet prompts, it can be individual planets or like an individual element. Like if you find a book about the element of fire or a book about say Pluto, um, or you can do it um, multiple planets or all the elements into one. So it's your choice to do either a specific element or planet or um, all of them. So that's 20 and tw 21 and 22. Um, 23, a decluttering slash organization book. So, um, like, Inbulk is kind of like a prompt of, like, getting that head start on, like, spring and everything. So, um, a, like, winter can be also a good time to do that decluttering organization process. Um, 24, a self-help slash self-care book. Uh, 25, a book about your zodiac sign. Um, you can choose to learn, like, to read about another zodiac sign if you want. Um, 26, a biography or autobiography. So, um, that one I wanted to, like, a few of these I wanted to try and challenge myself with. And, like, that one I know is going to challenge me. Um, an, uh, an herbal book. Um, history. So, it's always good to learn, um, how things progressed leading up to what they are today. And um, 29 to 33 are kind of like, kind of like almost typical other readathon prompts type of things. Um, 29, yellow, gold, or orange on the cover, white on the cover, winter story slash cover, spring story slash cover and 33 fire on the cover so those are my 33 prompts um so for um the inbox reading days for 2021 um again a book about divination a book about tarot a ya or journal fiction a children's book and a cookbook so like i don't really have set like set rules is kind of like general thing um depending on the prompts you might not able to choose five individual books but like a little challenge like a but a book a day um type of thing depending on um when these dates land because like if it's over a weekend you can fly through a few or depending on how big a book you have is so a little bit of a challenge there but if you want to like if prompts do overlap with a book that you do want to read i'm okay with that because there likely be years where i likely will find a book where there's like say yellow on the cover and it's a journal fiction book um or like um it's a book about the planets and there's a fire on the cover or whatever or like the element prompt is better um but yeah because like i don't want to say no you can't overlap where i might counteract like be a hypocrite and like five years down the line I'm overlapping prompts for a book so like if you like for some reason find like one book that covers all five of the prompts <laughs> um, but if you find like two or three that cover like two like like you got like two you got three books and like two of them cover um, like one book covers two prompts another book covers another like two prompts and one only does one um so there's like you can do that um so like there's no general type of um 
like rule like rules um it's just seeing what books i can read i know i got like tbr piles um <laughs> um free reads that i want to do and everything so this will just give me like okay these few days you're gonna read hopefully at least five books covering these five prompts um topics or whatever you want to call them but yeah um i thought it would be something interesting to do and show so um but if other people want to do it as well and use the prompts that i have for like for at least this year next year will be um five more to um five other prompts so it's not going to be like the same prompts every single year after i get through all 33 I'll, like i'll likely just do like five six um six to ten next year um 11 to 15 the following year and then once i go end up at 33 obviously um after 33 i will i won't continuously do like that i'll jumble up them each year um so it's not the same kind of prompts every few years um so yeah um a little intro to in bulk reading days happy readings